Hola. Where are we? Chanka. Okay, Carlos. Carl. Carlos. Carlos. Carlos.
<laughs> Mortin. Ya sampai dulu. Morty, Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Whoa. Morton, no. Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure, my responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Mordin is going to die. time ago my father betrayed me in this place his own son he tried to kill me so i had to kill him right over there that's what the genophage reduced us to animals but you changed that today shepherd now we'll fight for our children not against them it's just a pity morden had to die He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. But <laughs> you, Commander. Right. He can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls ah, you a friend. Bakara. Is your name? Thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage? 
I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. No. Oh. So, I'm missing one? Commander, I'm good Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. Hey, the Korean hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. Fucking the Krogan. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying. It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide <laughs> missions. <laughs> Yeah. Anything happens, you let me know. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time?
Just remembering the loss. Thinking of some <coughs> brands who weren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Oh. Riara. <laughs> Ashley back on Vermeer. She gave her life stopping Sovereign. I wonder what she'd make of fighting a whole fleet of Reapers. Huh. If I had to guess, Ashley would call it target practice. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like her. Kenapa ada Liara? Dalam video. Can you something for me? <laughs> the Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Hmm. Let me guess. She called the comm room. The council must be taking the crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. I'll see you. Eh, dia datang balik. Hello, Dalatras. Can I help you, counselor? Shepard, I want you to understand that I owe my position to you, and it's not something that I take lightly. Were it not for you, that weak-minded counselor Valorn would still be alive, leading the Salarians down the sewage pipe. But now I'm forced to champion a cure for the genophage. It's like saying we need a hurricane to put out a wildfire. Counselor, Krogan are about to die in droves, so your people don't have to. That's your message. Human statesmanship at its finest. <laughs> Speaking of, I need to talk to you about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. He's moving vast sums of money. We need to talk about where it's going. From what I can tell, you won't like the news. Come see me next time you're on the Citadel. Issue out. Issue? The last one's over? Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcoin. Oh, that's about it. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race, or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that mom and Tachunka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. <laughs> What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons <laughs> of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our <laughs> engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about Aria's yeah. mercenaries? Hmm. Aria Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorja I hear. We'll put the blue suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his stop. men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not going to jeopardize the entire Solarium Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. Oh, okay. Delatras is not a name, then. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. Yag. <laughs> Can't Shadow broker. Yag have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. I see. 
Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. What happened yeah. to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evroom. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Dubai. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Apa dihantar ke Elko? Tante ke Earth? Terus banyak juga. Banyak hal. Oh. Turi yang datang. Seleri yang tak ada satu je. Well. The spores in our bodies remain. What? Oh! Oh, the one the affected one. The Making babies. Makara, nama dia. Right. Play strategy games. A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose. Sorry. Sorry, trainer. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I don't know. What did I do? Oh, the Kalagi. Let's go. Ok. 
got 10 minutes Dah lupa dah Dah lupa dah Javi in game Sorry Miranda Oh aku lupa ah, Aku tak upgrade I just want to for myself. No, don't stun people. can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Let's do it. What are you doing, Cortez? Hmm, coming out of town. It's okay. Garus Thanks Garus Looks like we 
we found the control center. Damn it. This will take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's got to get those defenses down ASAP. ED, yeah. Come to. ED, front and center. As you command. Be ready, Commander. You're going to get swarmed. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. Security breach. Initiating lockdown. Fail, fail. Outside communications are no longer possible, Shepard. Just bring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. Okay, 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 okay. Defense system deactivated. General order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Cerberus is deploying manual defenses to the landing pad, Shepard. That's where we need to go. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. And Atlas, terrific. Man, uh... Give it everything you got. Man, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now the deck is clear, Shepard. Anyone wounded? Just the usual minor flesh wound. <laughs> Carlos. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. Do the brother. Okay. It's time. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. I'm gonna we should be proud. Right on. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. Hack it out. Come on, let's go. Oh, you want to eat Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember you. Let's go. I got a lot of money now. Let's go. Well, Sergeant told me that Cerberus started out as an Alliance Black Ops. Black Ops always go bad. 
Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. You've got new messages, Commander. New messages? Bagu na jaga. Muna maga. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-faring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. <laughs> but unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Adams would like to speak to you. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been breaking up comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. <laughs> we just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety <laughs> issue. <laughs> well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Thanks. Nothing to report, Commander. GX. Direct X. <laughs> I have to buy first. First, change shirt. And then. <laughs> Blue is nice. But the lights need to be. Ooh. Why? Yeah, why not? Got it.
valian to a num Bye bye, Jane.